In today's video, we're going to explore the concept of pleiotropy. The term pleiotropy was first introduced by the German zoologist Ludwig Platt in a script celebrating his life's work published in 1910. Ludwig described a gene as being pleiotropic if it had several characteristics dependent upon it. The term comes from the Greek words pleion, meaning more, and tropos, meaning ways. One example of pleiotropy is phenylketonuria, a condition where one gene causes a variety of symptoms, including pale skin and cognitive disability. What you're about to see is the molecular structure of the gene products responsible for these effects. Normally, in those with the wild type allele, an enzyme produced by the PAH gene catalyzes the conversion of the amino acid phenylalanine to tyrosine. Conversely, individuals with the mutated version of the PAH gene have low levels of the PAH enzyme. This results in buildup of phenylalanine. This buildup of phenylalanine has a multitude of effects. Cognitive disability results due to an inability to synthesize vital neurotransmitters and proteins which eventually leads to irreversible brain damage. As PAH catalyzes the formation of tyrosine and melanin production is dependent on the presence of tyrosine, changes in pigmentation are also mediated through this mechanism. As you can see, this one genetic mutation results in more than just one effect. Accordingly, this is an example of pleiotropy. And luckily, simple and routine early diagnosis and avoidance of dietary sources of phenylalanine can allow individuals with faulty copies of the PAH gene to live a perfectly normal life. 